Hey guys, I just got a package in the mail. DHL dropped by. If you ever wondered what it looks like to get a package from China, this is how they usually arrive. In a big cardboard box, wrapped up in all kinds of tape because it does have to survive a lot of handling and the trip overseas. And these are what was inside. These are my newest fidget spinners from the trade show in China. I'm not sure which one I like the best yet. I, I do like all the swirl colors. Let me see if I can get the light in there right. And from what I understand, no two colors are exactly alike. Except for the blue one here. For some reason, I did not get a blue one with the uh, swirl colors. It's these. I, I believe these are made out of brass and aluminum. As you can see right there, that looks like an aluminum insert. The body is brass. Uh, hang on just a second. Let me take this, pause this video, and I'm going to pull the caps off. Let you see the bearings inside. Okay, as you can see, I've got the uh, the caps pulled off. The caps are laying right there on the top of my little aluminum pot. <laughs> uh, you can't see the bearings from this side. Let's flip it over. And you really can't see the bearings on this side either. They are... It looks like they are pressed in, so they are not replaceable. So if you get one of these, you do not expect to be able to really change out the bearings in there. Uh, one thing I did notice was these are quite smaller than the spinners I'm used to. Uh, let me pause the video again. I'm going to go grab a, uh, a another spinner that I just got, and we'll compare them. Okay, guys. You can kind of see my setup has changed a bit because... I couldn't get the shots I wanted earlier, so I kind of moved in here to my little light box setup so that I can get everything in frame, and I can I can basically uh, let my hands do the talking. Uh, I just want to compare the different ones here. Uh, this is my little, I'm not sure exactly what this one's called. I never, it never found a name for it, but it's made out of brass, and I wanted to show you the bearings in it because the bearing size is different in these new ones. Let's see if I can get to focus in there. You can see those. I'm having problems with the uh, focus on this thing. But hopefully you can see it. They're much smaller com as compared to my standard size tri-spinner. And these are steel. These are ceramic. And this one is the same way as the other one. It is steel bearings. But they are considerably smaller. And I have noticed that it will actually spin a little bit slower. A little bit less time. Uh, the caps fit extremely well. See if I can get them started here. They're all, they are a little bit tricky to get started because they, I don't know, they seem to have a finer thread or something, but see it goes on there. And just to give you a little comparison, I'm going to go ahead and throw the caps back on this one. This one is so far my longest spinning spinner, both copper and brass. And they seem to get a little bit better, not a whole lot better, but a little bit longer spin time as I've used them. So just to give you a comparison, I'm going to go ahead and spin this one up. Then I'm going to hold this one until we get them both in frame. And you'll be able to see the comparison there. One thing I do like is all the colors that come off this thing, depending on how the light hits it. But like I said, it does slow, it slow down much quicker. It does not have... As much of a spin time, it's a little bit lighter than the brass ones. I think this one came in at like 95 grams or 75 grams. I'll have to grab my uh, my kitchen scale again and give you an accurate reading. But as you can see, uh, it does slow down much quicker. This one here, these is uh, just going to keep going and going and going. Uh, so I can spin it again, give you a better idea of the uh, color patterns. Let you see that a little bit. And from the edge, if I can get it in the light right. There, that's a little better. Let me stop that in real quick and I'll do the black. And as I said earlier, each one of these is going to have a little bit different swirl pattern in the colors. So you're going to have a semi-custom spinner if you get one of these. No two are exactly alike except for the blues back there. The, uh, the blue because there is no swirl pattern on this one. Don't know if that's intentional or not, but some people may like the aluminum color rather than having a swirl pattern. And here's the gold. See if I can't get that one in frame. I kind of like the colors. My favorite though is black, so 
and the second will be red, I guess. And as you can see, this one is still going back there. And this one, I guess, I'm not sure. I, I didn't order this one. It came as a bonus, I guess, or they, they mispacked or something, but they actually sent me a torque bar styled spinner. And I thought I'd show it to you. It It is fairly heavy. I mean, but I do like the shininess of it. A friend of mine said if you get a bottle of Brasso, it is especially good for shining up brass. It costs like three bucks at Walmart. If I can do this one sideways, see it going. And as you can see, it does spin for quite a while, but it is new, so it needs some breaking in. Get it up very close. Let me stop that, and I will pull it apart real quick, show you the bearings. I don't want this video to run too long and get you bored. Ah, I got the right side. So as you can see, or hopefully you can see, it's hard to tell in this light. Let's see if I can get the light on it better. Oh, my light, my light's sucky. I'm not a very good photographer up close. But hopefully you can tell these are stainless steel bearings. And they are small. They're all pretty small. So let me put that down right quick. Just to let you know, like I said, this one is a, a wee bit smaller. It is the same size as the other two brass ones, but it just kind of feels smaller for some reason. And this is my plastic typical size tri-spinner. I think this one would be excellent for someone who just likes to fidget back and forth like that. You don't necessarily care about long spin times. And this one has a kind of a clickety feel to it. It has a You can feel the bearings kind of click every, every few seconds on a regular basis. That feels nice. The... I'm assuming these are steel. They may be aluminum caps. Can't quite tell. But they are shiny and they feel good. And this one actually is easy to spin in your pocket. I mean, if you got your hand down in your in a pair of loose jeans or a pair of uh, of shorts, I've been able to to operate this thing while while in my pocket with a uh, with pretty much empty. I think I had my keys in my pocket and I was able to hold this up high enough in my pocket that I could fidget with it while I was waiting in line or something. So yeah, that's it. Want to do a little quick and dirty video for you. Let you see what the uh, ones I just got in from China look like. And hopefully they'll be available in the U.S. pretty soon. Talk to you later.